Welcome back to part two of the video guys where today we're going to be running all the ducts and cabling out to the vehicle chargers and getting them mounted over the next couple of days. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. So what we're doing now is we're just trimming this length of duct back, we're cutting a bit off so we get some length on the pull cord, taping that on before we run the next two in. Then once they're all in, we can pull the EV Ultra through. But it's important to leave enough slack on that rope so that you, you can tape the cable on. If it pings away, you're in a bit of a pickle, but there are ways around it. Hopefully we haven't got that scenario here. That's it, that's it. <laughs> So what Pete's just done is the absolute classic of what we were saying not to do earlier and we've Called it basically knife. lost our rope. There is a way around this and so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to wing it, um, see what happens. But yeah, to be fair, it's quite a straight run so we should be able to get the cables down it with too much, uh, not too much drama. So um, all we're going to do now is we're going to, because we've got several runs to do and only one big drum, we're going to get the drum out, reel off the runs. Um, so we've got four charges going in two and two so the first two we need the same amount of cable for both and then likewise slightly longer run for the next bank but they'll be the same length so we can get all them off and then pull them through in two runs and uh, hopefully it goes uh, goes well what we need to do if we've got a hoover some vape and just suck it through yeah if it doesn't work we can uh, yeah we can do that we'll just suck it yeah just <laughs> <Well done, mate. laughs> Pull it from here. It's coming down. Right up. Yeah. Cool. So this is our rumper tech. It's a cable reeler. It's basically going to make that weightless. So when we pull it out, this will just spin round now, and we don't really have to put much effort into pulling it out, which is great. Uh, so normally I can just go and sit in the van and leave Pete to it. Normally does. <laughs> if you haven't got a rumper tech, you need to give it a go. It's absolutely amazing. It's going to come down to the first bay basically. So we're in line with the bay but we're going to pull six more meters, two for going up into the post and then four for inside but because we've got to keep the drum slightly out of the building so it's not a trip hazard because we've got deliveries coming in and out we're allowing for that extra here so I'm just going to pull that out and then we can cut it off. Let me know it's back on the drum and I'll pull that. So this is our second run, two of four, no two of six. Uh, we're doing the shorter runs first just in case we've uh, not calculated our cable run correctly and we need some more so we'll get the ones that are actually going to be operational done and then uh, we should have enough cable for the last two that are for the future we're just getting the cable down into the EV block but um, yeah mistakes do happen so we'll just uh, go on the safe side of caution once we've got them all run out we know which one's which so obviously we've got four working charges and two future proofing going in so obviously they're labeled one three to six we'll do that at both ends and then we know we've got the right cable i measured that well didn't i i believe i did that oh yeah all right it would have been me <laughs> so what we're doing now is we're just going to start pulling the first two through um, on the one we have got some rope left on and then uh, we're going to try and suck some rope down the other ones with a hoover which is a little trick we've seen somewhere else, I can't remember who, who it was but uh, if it was you, let me know
So in case any of you are wondering who this is, this is Reese, one of our electricians. It's the first video he's featuring in today, and only our second video, so it's not like he's had to wait that long. Um, but yeah, Reese has been with us nearly a year now. Um, not that long ago he finished his apprenticeship, and he's just got his AM2 left to do. So uh, soon he'll be like the rest of us. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the first one we're having to push down with no rope. The Dyson Hoover didn't work. Um, but we are very close, I can't quite see it yet, but it's really windy down here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so close. No, I've got it. Got it. Have it. Sorry. How much have you got there? Loads. Yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah, that's cool, yeah. Perfect. Great. We're two thirds of the way there. Sorry. That's the three cable runs in, uh, times two cables. To, uh, the last two were a bit of a, bit of a mission because we lost that rope, but we got them all in. Uh, now we can uh, try and get them up in the building. <laughs> we need to become like the bold builders, mate. They're like internationally famous. <laughs> Good to I guess please sort that out. I make those sounds so it seems like I'm working hard. Um, Whee! I'm saying my R's like very good. In Switzerland, your name is Petch. In Swiss right, I'm just going to grab onto it. doing here we've got RJK who have been helping us on the project they're putting the blocks in but then gonna ratchet them up off the ground a bit to bed underneath it and then that can all go off so tomorrow we can get the post mounted Welcome back to day four of the job. Um, today, we're just gonna get these EV blocks leveled out a bit before we mount the towers. Um, the guys from RJK put them in yesterday, and that's fantastic. However, now they've been in the ground a little while, they've sort of settled a bit and they're not quite level. So it's important that we get them bang on, because when you put the posts on, if it's not, it's gonna look like that or like that, which won't look good. 
Um, so they're back tomorrow to fill the trench in and uh, bed these in properly. But at this stage, we've got to make sure they're perfect so we can get the posts on. Then they're coming back tomorrow to fill that in. So um, yeah, have a laugh while you watch us do this. <laughs> Sparky's take over again. So here at South Coast TV, we know we're electricians, but there's nothing we can't do. So when it comes to it, we get stuck in and we get the job done. That's what we're doing this morning. We wouldn't normally get involved in this side of it, but uh, it needs to be done. So we just jump on and we sort it out. Two down, one to go. So while we're waiting on the, the blocks to be bedded in, the EV blocks, uh, Reese are just inside. Um, started to make off these armoureds. So these armoureds are EV Ultra, so Doncaster Cable's EV Ultra. If you don't know what EV Ultra is, it's basically, um, they make it in various sizes, but we're using a six mil EV Ultra. So it's a six mil power cable with a, a screen cat five uh, in that, and that allows us to give these chargers hard wired into their connections because they're obviously a bit more distant from the building. So if possible, it's always better to give them a hard wired into their connection. Um, they also make these chargers uh, with 4G and Wi-Fi compatibility, the survivors units. Um, but we've opted for hardwired here. The Reese is cracking on with that. And then uh, we're going to start some other bits in the meantime. So while we're waiting to get these outside, I thought we'd just take a couple of moments to talk through what we've got here. So this is the EV tower. Uh, it's a great piece of kit. And this particular one allows us to mount two back to back uh, because of how they're situated. We've got two charges, but two bays. It's going to go in the middle of them. We've opted for the survivors charger here and the customer wanted the tethered option. Uh, it's a really nice charger. It looks good with the black finish on it. But basically how does it work in this business? They're gonna have monitor in the future, to charge people uh, to use it and they'll be able to charge for different rates and allow certain people to charge for free. In the interim till they're ready to do that, these come with two RFID cards each. So you can set those up for a particular user. They plug it, tap here, and then away they go. Uh, and as I mentioned, we have hard wiring the internet connection, so it gives it a good strong signal for the app and the interface, and we've got real-time updates as to what's going on. Um, but yeah, they look really smart, and actually, you can't see to look knee wrapped around, uh, but perhaps a bit some footage. Um, basically, if I uncall this, with uh, EV Tower, they make the backplate specific for the charger that's going on. So if you can capture this here, look, it's got their nice, uh, logo branded across the top there, which is uh, a nice little finish to it. Come on, in that position. Stand up. So what we're doing now, we've got one of the EV block uh, front cover plates marked up to drill through for our bolts. And then we're using basically four of these per post with two of those per one of those. Um, so it locks in tightly. And then we can use this one as a template to mark the others. So what we're doing now is we're gonna mount this on here, get it all done. So this is going to go this way. So there we have it, the first one's mounted. We're just gonna get those cables out of these two grommets for now. Uh, we won't be making them off today, we'll be doing that Tuesday, but we're gonna get them out so they're not in the way and then just tape them up. the first one I fitted in a while of the survivors range and they've made some nice improvements there's a lot more space in there now to make your terminations up there before it was down here and you had a lot to work with so really impressive that I've got one done as is Pete and we've got two more to do then we'll be going inside and getting the final connections done so we're just testing the uh, four chargers now Pete's got the tester on the go with the EVSE um, 
So I'm just gonna show you how we do it. So with these Survivors chargers, um, we've got all four set up on the app with two cards per charger. So basically, now I can't show you the phone at the same time, but the piece plugged in and then you turn this to C, simulate the car's ready to plug in or is plugged in and ready to charge. And then what I'll be able to do now is tap that, it allow juice into the tester and then we can get our read in. So I'll just uh, hang about while he does that. Just stand over the shoulder. Apologies if you can hear any of the noise in the background. Um, this is the closest charge and we've got a reading of 0.16. So it's a nice simple process. We've done the other three. Um, so we're going to pack our tester away now. We'll get the cable toys uh, cut off here. I've got cable toys around them in the interim so they weren't swinging around while we weren't working on them. And then uh, we'll get one of the customer's cards plugged in. So we've got all the charges set up. We're just going to do a handover with the customer. But before I do that, I'll just um, bring you in and show you the panel board we've installed and just give you a final run through of that. Um, so all our EV Ultras are coming in there. And then this is the Luden panel board. In the bottom half, I showed you before, we've got our surge device. And we've got our ALM meter, which is currently monitoring the voltage on all phases. And then in the top half, so we've got all our survivors charges. We've got a spare one for the future. We've got a socket powering up this gear over here. And then we've got some ALM voltage references and the surge MCB. Um, over here we've got this chart that we'll leave somewhere and it's just sort of the installation characteristics to show any other sparkies that might end up working on it where all the cables go where it's isolated from etc um but yeah just going to go and do a handover and then uh, get out of here So that's another job done guys it's been a big job for us there's only four vehicle charges that have gone in but all of the infrastructure we've had to put in to make that happen has been massive um, so this customer's made use of the grants available which are ending next year i hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you next time